Today we're going to talk about the field of cybernetics, biocybernetics, the branch of science concerned with control systems and medical devices. Okay, now the word cybernetic comes from the Greek word cybernet, meaning the steersman of the boat. In order for him to steer, he has to be able to see, he has to have feedback, see and hear. Now examples of other cybernetic systems are like the thermostat. Because you have a sensor that measures, then you have a controller that would then determine what to do, air conditioning or heat. And then it does a stimulus. In biostimulation, we talk about the hypothalamus, which is there to regulate thirst, satiation, sexual desire, and many other things. Now we started out by doing science on this cybernetic loop well over 40 years ago. In traditional medicine, the ECG, EEG, EMG, GSR, and many others are modern medical techniques used to measure the body. Sensors. What if we take these measurements, then have a controller, a, a computer system to analyze them, and then have a stimulation through other medical systems, traditional medical systems, of TENS, CES, Electro Wound Healing, EWH. What if we put them all together in a cybernetic system where we're going to get the sensors, controller, and stimulation, and put it all together into a loop? And we call this the EPFX cybernetic loop. Being able to measure the body electric and treat the body electric. Now, as we start to put this all together, I found registration for this back in 1989. And now for a presentation I made back in 1999 as Bill Nelson, before I became Desiree DuVernay. Watch and learn. You'll find out about cybernetic loop theory. Now we've mentioned the idea of a cybernetic loop. Let's explain a little bit more. Back in 1989, I was able to register the first zeroid system known as the EPFX device. And this was through the company Eclosion. And I was able to register that with the FDA in America. It was a diagnostic device capable of measuring different channels, up to 10 different complete channels of changes in the body. And it was diagnostic. In 1990, I was then able to register a different device known as the SCIO device with the FDA. And it was therapeutic. It was able to generate different therapies along the idea of TENS, trans electrical nerval stimulation, TENS, TENS. This was a variation of the Mora device, variation of the Rife device, a variation of the TENS devices, and basically was using a therapeutic mode. Well, in 1991, I had gone to the FDA and now said I wanted to combine. These were both registered devices, and I wanted to combine the two of them in one device and make a device that was capable of diagnosing energetic disturbances in the body and then one that was able to correct them. A device that might be able to correct brainwave, correct Alzheimer's, correct different things. 1991, the FDA said no. I said, why not? They said they don't have to answer that question. So I didn't know what to really do. See, the old style e uh, eclosion device, the device known as Phasix today, is only a diagnostic device. It does not have the therapy. It was an archaic device. In 1992, I had come to Hungary, and by working with the Hungarian officials, they said, what a wonderful idea. A diagnostic device combined with a TENS device. A device that could measure disturbance in the brainwave and then correct it. A device that would be able to measure electrical disturbances in the body electric and correct it at biological speeds. They said how we might be able to cure many mental diseases, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, many other different things, minimizing the cost of or the need of drugs in the patient, a very more, much more natural energetic type of medicine. So we were able to register the device in Hungary, and it has a cybernetic loop where we can now measure the body with the computer, and the computer can treat the body. And since the computer's speed is in the uh, uh, minimum of 200 megahertz, we can see that the computer has very much time to be able to intervene with the body at every millisecond uh, of speed. And the ionic exchange rate in the human body is around a hundredth of a second. So as different changes are happening in our body electric, 
as we are responding to the, our, our environment, we do so in about a hundredth of a second. And the device with the cybernetic loop would be able to regulate different processes and pr help to promote health and biological resonance. So you can see that now we're being able to make a cybernetic loop that can measure the body electric, treat the body electric, and correct the body electric. And this is all done with the EPFX registered system. I hope that you can understand a lot more. And if you have questions, present them to us here at Immune.